Hey, welcome back. And boy, oh boy, are you in for a treat today? Because this is probably the most action-packed Cyrax recap since 3-3 happened. But before we go anywhere, because even with the title, I know this is going to be asked. Yes, this is the part where Cyrax gets arrested. On July 16th, on the show Mad at the Internet, Null himself, the owner of the farms, decided to cover Cyrax for the first time on the show. Um... I am going to talk about Cyrax. I've never spoken about Cyrax. I was very determined that I would probably never speak about Cyrax ever in my life. However, I have found the recent developments in the Cyrax verse um, interesting, and I would like to talk about it. Of my own volition, I have not been forced at gunpoint by the in his thread or the outer troll sphere into discussing this. <laughs> Um, so let me let me explain what I know about Cyrax at this point. I am aware first and foremost that he has a mentally ill, unhinged, mainstream troll sphere that dwarfs any shit that ever happened to Christian. The people around him have justified or wings of redemption, the people around him have justified every manner of abuse possible and actually commit crimes with him all the time. Um, I'm aware that he lives in filth and squalor and is covered in bug bites. I'm aware that he is a offender, I think, against a child, and that is the reason why the uh, trolls are willing to, like, do whatever the f*** they want. That's how they justify it. Um, besides that, I know literally nothing. I think he lives with his grandmother, and they rent their house, and I've only learned that uh, recently. After watching Cyrax talk about how good of a person he is, Null would then talk about how someone had paid contractors to come and tear down their fence, ending the Cyrax coverage of that stream. Here's the thing, right? At no point in this video does um, he explain what the fucking issue is that he desperately needs money for. Oh, am I muted? No, I'm not muted. Okay. Uh, so I had to look this up. I have not received a full, clear picture of what's actually happened. However, from what I have ascertained, it's something along these lines. Cyrax lives with his grandmother in a rented house that she has lived in for 11 years. At least 11 years. He's lived in that house for 11 years. She might have been living in it a little bit longer. Um, Cyrax, of course, being a troll, or being a troll magnet who attracts all these unsavory characters to uh, his house, have caused issues with his landlord. However, one of the trolls, um, who I'm not sure, I think it's it might be Marty, the showbiz guy that like um, punched him and got a bunch of people to freak out at me because I didn't feature it. Um, they have done something with the fence on the property. I In one of the clips that I saw, one of the posts that I read, Marty had con or somebody had contacted a um, music bid Marty, whatever. They contacted a contractor to do something to the fence on the property. And um, the contractor got into touch with the homeowner. The homeowner found out that they were planning to do something to her fence. And that was like a final straw that said, you have to get the f off the internet. You have to um, either get off the internet or I'm going to kick you out. I'm going to evict you from the house. Uh, I have also heard, and I don't know if this is true, that um, the contractor actually did remove a fence on the property entirely and Marty paid for it or promised to pay for it. And that's why the, 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 the lady is pissed off and is now like, okay, you have to get the got out or you have to um the fence is gone okay thanks steve has told me that the contractors have actually removed the fence and that is why the landlord is now like you either have to leave my property or you have to get off the internet because the internet people are causing trouble so marty has contracted people to demolish structures on their estate that they are renting from to cause issues with his housing agent which is why I usually don't talk about Cyrax because this guy deserves to have his fucking teeth knocked in. He deserves to be in prison because he's a fucking criminal. Um, however, I find it interesting that his immediate reaction to this is to go onto the internet and talk about it. Later, on June 18th, Metal Gear Rax would get a call from Cyrax himself on a live stream just as he was about to turn it off. Cyrax would lie about having cop friends and then said that he did nothing wrong. Yeah, we gotta do it again. 
We gotta do it again sometime. Absolutely. I hope you guys had fun. A hundred over a hundred people in chat. I've never had that happen. Holy sh you guys made it possible. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. There's no fing way this is calling me right now. You mo <laughs> you motherfucker. Hold on. Hold on. We'll start at the beat. You gotta be kidding me. What do you want? I wanna know something, man. Honestly, like, no bull, no garbage. Set all the YouTube aside. Just, you know, man to man. I wanna know something, honestly, dude. Okay. Why do you feel like you have to attack my family when we've done nothing to you and we tried to be peaceful with everyone and mind our own business? Because you wouldn't accept responsibility for what you did? You know. But here's the thing, though. You, why, let me ask you something. Why should I accept responsibility for someone that entrapped me, dude? But you're not understanding this. It doesn't matter. This. Actually, it does matter, dude, because what you're not understanding is what Kate did is illegal, dude. That's illegal. No, it's not. Well, you, actually, it is. Have you ever it heard of... Is. Have you ever heard of To Catch a Predator? And here's what I found out, dude. This is what you don't understand, man. Unless she is working with a police department, and I have prior convictions, what she is doing is entrapment, which is illegal. You have to be a police law. officer to be entrapped. That's not how entrapment works, Chance. Actually, it is. Actually, it's trust not. Me, trust me when I say, dude, I've got friends that are in the police force, and they have all said no, the don't. exact same thing. No, you don't. Actually, I do. You're One of my friends is actually a retired the corrections officer, dude. You're doing I trust you when I say they know, they know what they're talking about, man. Nah, you're you don't know who you don't know. <clears throat> you honestly do not know who I know and don't know. I know you don't I know anybody you in law know. enforcement. Actually, I do. Yeah, I don't believe that. I actually do. And let me tell you right now, dude. No, I, I don't. Dude, I, dude, I, believe it or not, dude, I've spoken with a lot of law enforcement outside of Ohio. And trust me when I say this, and I am not lying to you or boasting you. I've been being 100% honest with you, dude. They've all said the same exact thing. When it comes to what she has done, that is illegal. Unless I have priors, which I do not. I have never been arrested for it. You don't have to be. The police didn't arrest me. You don't have to Therefore, be. What she, actually, I No, do. you don't. You don't have to be arrested to be a pedophile. Metal Gear Rax shut Cyrax down when he tried to defend himself continuing to talk to Katie when she told Cyrax she was 14 before Cyrax ended up hanging up. It does not matter, dude. It all comes together, dude. You guys got everything from him. You think I'm not stupid? No, we didn't. We saw you videos know? of you admitting that you sexted... No, dude, okay, that's enough. You had had videos online admitting that you talked to children. You admitted it. Listen, just stop and listen for me, dude. No, I'm not going to stop and do You've explained enough. You're done. You had enough time. You've told the same story over and over again. No, I'm done listening. I've had enough, Chance. You're full of shit. No, you just don't know. Dude, you seriously, you guys just seriously need to stop harassing my family, dude. That's all we're asking. You guys need to leave our family alone. That's all we're asking, dude. And we're asking you. We're asking you to dance. Oh, yeah, there. Just leave us alone, dude. That's all we're asking. No, not until you dance. See, can't even have a civil conversation with this guy. At some point later, Cyrex would join a live stream called What All Can We Discuss in Several Hours, hosted by Brutally Lauren, where he called in on his cell phone due to having no internet access. Hello? Hello? Hey, it's, hey, it's me. Hey, how you doing? What's up? I'm good. Uh, were you? Cause you know I'm live right now. Uh, somebody yeah. get rid of that spammer in the chat, please. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people were in here and they were like, "Hey, I, we heard that." Uh, cause they when we were gonna do that show before, and some I don't know who they are. They came in and they were like, "Well, can you get him to come on?" I was like, "I don't know. Let me try." Yeah, and like I said, I do appreciate all the fans that, you know, have reached each other right now, unfortunately, due to me not having internet access to do the trolls, I'm unfortunately not able to do anything, sadly. Oh, that's all right. Yeah, um, which it does, like, 
but to everybody out there that, you know, you know, if they can't hear me, all the, you know, everybody that does support me out there, man, I want them to know that, you know, I'm doing good. I'm working as hard as I can to get back to where I was. And I am actually trying to, we're actually making some headway on all this finally. So, you know, hopefully here real soon, I'll be back and work in business. Lauren was asked about the fight back on March 3rd, 2023, and Cyrix would give his side of the story on what happened that day. People are, okay, so people in the chat are asking about, and I know, like, everybody's seen it, and I'm sure you went over it, like, a thousand times, but the, the meetup with Marty, like, how do you, how did you handle that after the fact, I guess? Like, I'm not trolling, I'm asking, like, legit, respectful questions, I'm not... Yeah, basically you're asking, like, how did everything go, like, after yeah. everything went down? Right, exactly. Well, we ended up calling the police to make a report, and they took one look at me and didn't do anything at all. They were just like, oh, you know, you're, they asked if I needed a medical intention, and I told them, I don't know. They took a look at my nose, said that it was fine, so she had busted up my nose. I was going to say, your nose looked broke. <laughs> It looked like it was yeah, broken. I yeah, like, dude, the whole bottom of my face was almost fully crimson because I had all that blood dripping down my face. And I was still like, what the... Yeah. I almost went through a whole entire... I literally almost went through a whole roll of toilet paper. Like, that's how much it was leaking. I'm sitting there, like, stuffing all this toilet paper up my nose, like, trying to get stopped. Like, it sucked so bad but like the cops didn't even talk to him like they didn't go over there they didn't say nothing they just took one look at my nose took down the report which I later found out just a few weeks ago that that incident was not taken down like it should have been by the police and they just went on their way wow and I've I essentially had to deal with a freaking bloody nose for like two or three days, which can suck. Your eye was like, black too, wasn't it? Huh? Yeah, like both. I had a massive bruise under the one eye, and then my one eye was completely fucked up. Did he apologize or anything, well, or did you guys like make some sort of peace, or is it still just going on? Nah, he never apologized for none of it. He uh. did say to other people that, he, like, he did say to other people that he never intended for that to happen, but I call bullshit. I have been a happy Xbox owner since 2008 or 2009, and I can safely say that no model since I've gotten one has had the router feature that Cyrax is about to describe. Because, like, the whole thing with the whole internet thing, what's going on right now is my Xbox is basically acting like its own router in a sense, and it's bouncing off of Wi-Fi just enough to where I can use my phone and whatnot. So, like, I was able to, like, do a little bit of research mm. to try to, you know, see what's going on. And the amount of videos that, and channels that have told me are, like, the numbers are just like, I can't even begin to fathom, like, all yeah. those numbers. It's like, it's dizzying. It's like, holy Well, let's see. But yeah, they are, they are right, though. There's Marty and a lot of these other people have made thousands off of me, and I have not seen one rent cent of any of the money, even though a lot of people do know that I rightfully worked my ass off for it. Cyrax would tell the story of his landlady being contacted by CVG and Metal Gear Rax, causing her to say that they need to either cut off the internet or get evicted. So right. it's because of your trolls, basically, that you don't, you, you can't, or what were you saying? I'm sorry. Basically, what happened was that Cyrax video games guy and Metal Gear Rax, they had somehow or other came across or found our own, mine and my family's landlady's phone number and Facebook and began harassing her to the point to where she gave us 
she was forced to give us an ultimatum to either get off the internet or we were getting evicted. And if we got evicted, we would have nowhere else to go because we can't afford anywhere else. Right. So sadly, we had. So sadly, we had to cut the internet, which sucks. Oh, I bet. Hell yeah. And that was. Like, and that was like three days ago that that happened. Marty, in the chat, would ask if he could come on to apologize to Cyrax, but wasn't brought on yet. Read Marty's messages. Okay, hang on a second. Because he said something about, could I, can I apologize now? Um, I guess it's the real Marty. I, I don't, I don't know. Um, he said, can I apologize now? I, I honestly don't know. I don't know if that's him. You know what I would do? Have somebody go over there and check and see if it's actually him. Like, that's what I would, that's Yeah, because I'm only on my stream yard. I can't. Yeah, I can't. I I can't. I know Burger Boy. Like I, Burger Boy hates me. Actually, um, I don't know why exactly, but let's be honest. Burger Boy hates a lot of people. Let's yeah. be honest. He hates a lot of people, including me. Yeah. So. so me and you are in the same place. Wait, what? Wait, why the hell does Burger Boy hate you? Like, what the? Um, I don't see Marty saying anything else, guys, unless uh, he just said, wait a minute, Cyrax is grounded off the internet like a man, baby, so don't count on it. They're tired of his antics. That's what he said. But I don't. Yeah. Landlady that's said no more. Truth, yeah, that's really messed up that you might lose your place because of, like, internet trolls. You know what I'm saying? As you could probably guess, Marty would then hop on the stream to talk before leaving. Oh, you're good, you're good. No, not you. Okay, so Marty wants to come up now. Don't derail my show because I am doing this respectfully. Um, I get he's saying he wants to apologize. Should I trust that or what? What do you think? I guess my better judgment. Let's let's see how it goes. Okay, because I don't want you to like rage quit on me because I, 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 I planned this for a long time, and everybody yeah, was like, yeah. "Yay, you got Cyrax here!" You know, yay. Um, hang on a second. Let's see. How am I going to do this? So I need to unplug my. Give me just a second, guys, because I got to unplug my speaker. <sighs> Let's see settings, audio. Give me just a second. Speaker. I do. Yeah, let's see. Uh, Zazzy, can you say something for me? Something. Hang on, I'm I'm asking my friend. Wait a minute, Zazzy, say something. I'm saying okay, something. Can okay. you hear me? Okay, so I guess is March dog. Is that Marty's this you? Hello. Hello. Okay, it's really you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. so yeah, well, hang on. Look, so, I don't yeah, want to be like. Look, I understand this is you know, interview here, but I'm just like I'm confused. Like, so I know Sharks doesn't have like a phone plan, and this internet cut off. So, like, how's he talking right now? Wait, hold on a minute, Cyrax. What did you say? You can't hear him. I can't hear him, but just barely. Okay. So like. And this, like, I don't know if Sarek realizes this or not, or if, or if, like, they're all on the same team of lies, but, like, the landlord isn't cutting off the internet. It's just his grandmother. The landlord... Wait, say... Oh. You can't <sighs> hit... So if you hit a StreamYard link, like, on your cell phone, it won't let you come up, you don't think? Me? He's, he's grounded. He's grounded from the internet. Actually, Marty, no, I'm not, dude. So then why don't, you, why don't you get on? Like, you don't have a phone plan, so why don't you just get on the internet? Marty, listen, what you need to understand, dude, is we had no choice but to get off the internet. Dude, your grandmother's lying to you, dude. Our you play Xbox all day. Listen, listen, listen. Our landlady forced us to cut the internet. So how are you on Xbox Live all day, Cyrax? She didn't want to have to do that, but... When these people began attacking you out of nowhere, dude, like, what do you expect? Yeah, but you're on Xbox Live all day. 
Yeah, somebody in the chat says, "How are you get? How are you playing Xbox?" I don't know. I don't have an Xbox, so I don't know what you got to do for that. You have to have internet to play it. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right. So, so what's going on is like I'm not able to do anything desktop wise. Like I have no internet on my desktop. My Xbox is acting like a like you know like a normal internet router. Just enough to where I can be on like. That's a lie. It doesn't work that way. Sorry, honey. Yeah. It doesn't work that way. Right. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Actually, it doesn't work that way, and I can prove it very easily if you if you'd like. I can easily prove. You need that. internet access. You need internet. Everybody knows this. Stop lying. I didn't because I don't have one. So I, I, I do know. I do know. I have I have all the yeah, systems, so I know how it works. Yeah, I can tell you for a fact. I say for a fact, Warren, these guys are full of shit. I can tell you that already. You, dude. I can tell you that already. Dude, if you don't have internet access, how are you on Xbox Live? All right, then if I'm lying. Then why do I have no internet signal on my desktop computer? Because your grandma shut you off, you man, baby. That's why, dude. She shut you off. No, that's not why, dude. Yeah. There's guys, look. To be honest with you, I hope you guys, I hope you trolls know that by the end of all this, you guys are gonna be done. It's over. You guys. Wait, are hang on. Gone. I think I think his I think he dropped on accident because I don't think he just left, but um. What? Why are you online right now? How would you guys know if he's online? Because I can tell you how they know that I'm on Xbox because what they do is they make fake accounts and they add me and that's how they're tracking whether I'm on or not. Cyrax got called out again for saying that his Series X was acting as a router, a feature that again does not exist on any model. I because my... Because my Xbox is acting like a router for It does phone. not work that way. Stop lying. None of us are that stupid. If you want a video, I can easily show. Matter of fact, now, how are you going to show me a video if you don't have internet? I'll tell you what. Let me, hey, Lauren, let me give you yeah. a call right back. I'm about, to, I'm about to send you a video real quick of what's going on. How are you going to send it to? I mean, like, where are you going to send it to? Yeah, me? open up your Xbox to the internet connection and do a test on it. Let's see that. Yeah, how how can you send it, or how are you going to send yeah, it? Yeah, he's lying. He's got internet. After leaving the call again, Cyrex would call back in. Hello. What's up? Hey, what's up? I was trying to, for some reason, with the videos that I shot are just, they're not one in the center, and I'm like. Oh, that's nice. I, <laughs> I, I explained, like, how it's doing it. What's going on is our desktop internet for, like, our computers they run through spectrum like yeah. that, run, that runs through a whole separate thing mm -hmm. what's going on is my because of my wi-fi extender i'm apparently bouncing off of someone's internet like piggybacking off of it yeah and it's, it's not fully there but it's just enough to where you know i can be on mobile device and I can be on my Xbox, but that's it. Our main connection to the internet through Spectrum is non-existent right now. Mm. Yeah. It, so what? Like you're using like your your um like your neighbor's yeah. internet or something? You're like piggybacking like yeah. off of them or something? Something like that. I'm not sure. We're like, we honestly don't know who they're piggybacking off. But to be honest, like we're not sure what what the deal is, but like you know. As long as I can, you know, like I told you, like, as long as I can keep in contact with my friends and do my shit, at least I can keep my sanity a little bit, at least. Out of nowhere, William Gloryhole joined the call. This is a long one, so it's going to be cut down for time. Okay, everybody's telling me I need to allow um, William up because of free speech. So I'm going to let him up and hopefully like you just tell me if, if, if it's not going the way you want to, but everybody's in the chat, like, why come you're not letting him up? He's not saying anything. He hasn't said anything disrespectful. Um, he just, he was the one who asked about the tattoo thing and I, I didn't know anything about it. So is that okay yeah. for a few minutes? 
Because like if you like when you want this, like I I get I have a lot of trolls too, and I know I've had to just put the fucking smack down on most of these squads, and then they just they they go away, you know, and you know maybe that's what you want to do with some of them. Oh man, my nose. Sorry. Oh, man, man. Hey Chance, what what would you call someone that sent a dick pic to someone they thought was fourteen years old? Just that, just curious, what would you call that person? I'm just asking you a question. You don't think I don't then, know the freaking laws? Then why aren't I in jail? Do, why isn't Kate in jail? Everybody. How come how come nobody's in jail? Oh, trust because me. Because you don't, you're really you don't know what you're talking about. In jail, dude. You don't know what you're talking about. I'm sorry. You oh, don't. Trust me. Trust me. Oh, oh, trust William, me. I know what you're trying to do. Gonna work. Yeah. It's not going to work, dude. So just, I'm, look, th this is the rare occasion where I have a, a civil discussion yeah, with you. Gonna, if you're going to sit there and continue to attack me, then leave, dude. Dude, I'm not attacking. I'm simply having a conversation with you. I have never said one thing I'm in this conversation that has been attacking towards you. This is the most respectful I've been to you in over two and a half years. Hey, I, I, I have a quick question. Do you have Do you have Ed's phone number? Hey, yo, Get rid of this guy. Do Do you want Ed's phone number? I'll give him to you. I'll give you Ed's phone number if you want it, Chance. That's your who? Yeah, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. I didn't have the thing up to me. What'd you say? Oh no, don't, no, yeah, I'm yeah. no! I'm not trying to get it, Chance. I already have it. I was asking if you wanted it. He asked if you wanted it. I don't. I don't understand well, what that means. His number, you idiot! I already got it. Like what? Well, that's, what that's what I was asking because you didn't have Sally's new number for a little bit, there, and we had that. I got a couple of friends that have been doing some digging on him and everything he's doing, like what he's talking about. That's illegal. At sh it doesn't matter whether you know, you know, whether it's on your pen or on him. That's illegal. What he's doing. Can I give a shout out? Can I give a shout out to chat real quick? Sure. Yeah. Hang on, I'm going to shout to check. Shout out to the one person watching. Oh, I'm sorry, the 103 people watching. It's only illegal if I get caught. I mean, really. Oh, crap. Hold on. <laughs> I don't even know what he said, but he hung up. Hopefully, he won't block me. Oh, my God. Can I mute? Okay. I Did you guys not hear me say, oh, my God, William Glory Hole's here? <laughs> I did <laughs> You guys think this is my first fucking rodeo? I'm an OG. I know what the fuck I'm doing. Swear to God, I do. I know what I'm doing. So for you in the chat that's saying I'm, I'm, whatever, Lauren can fart, Andre, whatever, go, go, go fuck yourself. If you don't know what the fuck's going on here, I gave you guys almost an hour of Cyrax without him rage quitting. But wait a second, have you guys not ever seen Marty and them soft trolling? She's doing yeah. what's called a soft roll. Who? Can we call him back. You're doing a yeah, soft roll. Actually, I need. Can you guys like talk amongst yourselves? I have to go to the bathroom. It'll take. Okay, okay, we're good. Yes, I'll be right back. Give me just two minutes. How are you doing, William? Yeah, I'm doing good. How about yourself? <laughs> I'm doing all right. <laughs> uh, that was that was hilarious. Yeah, it's amazing what he thinks is attacking. After giving his theory, Cyrax would call back in. 
Now I was wondering, maybe the <laughs> Xbox is hardwired, and they don't, and he doesn't have the the Wi-Fi may still be off, which is what his PC runs on the Wi-Fi, but the Xbox has got the hardwire into it. That's possible. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's calling back. Okay. Okay. Okay, hang on. Did you read what I just... Hold on a minute. Hold on. Did you just read what I sent you? Yeah, we'll have to check it out right now. Okay. Let, let me mute so I, I can say it privately. Dude, you're making this William Glory Hole dude look like a jackass. Like, for real. <laughs> you're doing... Did you read the text message that I sent you? Yeah, you don't, you don't want me, I'm unmuted and now, um, you don't want me to say that though, right? Yeah, I don't say that. I don't share private messages and shit like that. I know, like I said, like, he's trying to fish for that stuff and it's not going to work. Okay, yeah, you're, uh, hold on, let me mute one more time. Yeah, dude, you're owning him. So just, you got, like, he, he's being respectful, you know, I, I can't stay muted long, but yeah. You're doing fine. He's yeah. The the ch- I have, your trolls are trolling me now. They're saying to me, Lawrence having phone sex with Cyrax, the Chomo. Oh, that's played out. That's totally played out. That is, dude. Like for real. Like, dude. What? Is, all I gotta say to that is, what is this? In kindergarten. A chance. Get, click yeah. the link. Let's get you on the stream properly. You, you can. You can get. Through there from the internet on the phone. I do what? Click the link in StreamYards and get up here on your phone. That's what I said. I said, yeah, you should be able to. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how your internet's work. I mean, I don't, I don't know. Get down, kitty. Go. Get. Like I said, I don't know how my internet's doing what it's doing, but I can get on Messenger and do gaming, and that's it. I am not able to do any browser-based stuff. Like, I am literally, phone? because the browser-based stuff is connected to Spectrum. Spectrum is obviously in that phone, all that different sh- Because that got cut, <laughs> I'm not able to do anything browser-based. Like, if I go to Google, I can go to Google right now on my phone, and it will bring up, you need to connect to a network. I'm running off of someone's, like, Wi-Fi or hotspot, on my mobile device, which is also connected to my Xbox and the Wi-Fi extender, so they're all acting like one little small network to where I can only do Messenger and Xbox. Like, I can get on Facebook and say, yeah, but I'm not able to, like, do browser-based stuff. Like, I'm not able to. I've tried all day, and I could... I well, could then how are you on myself. Facebook? How are you, How are you on Facebook earlier? Like I said, dude, this does have, like, first off, dude, I'll be honest with you, William, just being straight up honest, dude, you seriously need to find something else to do besides bugging people. That's what you oh, I'm need just saying. Off, Facebook is browser-based, dude. You're you, just, you, you, know, you, you can't know, even you lie right. It. What you're doing, man, is illegal as you really are, dude. What you're doing is beyond illegal. You're cool. literally taking police body cam footage and you're using it in a malicious manner to blatantly attack me and my family and trying to make me look like sh- And when I'm you just, don't it's, understand... It's, it's you public know, records, you know, dude. No, just shut up the list, dude. <laughs> what you don't seem to get is this, man. Because of people like you and CVG and Metal Gear Ranch, my family's home is on the line here. And I'm over here trying to do whatever I can to keep us from getting kicked out. No, I uh, are that. you working? Are you working? I suggest, I suggest right now you leave because I can easily take and show the police what's going on what exactly is going on and that's gonna add to the evidence in the long run against you. So Shout out to the Akron Police Department. That, that's the thing, bro. You say you don't care, dude. I but don't like care. Thing, William told Cyrax that because he's funny, Bubba would be his friend before Cyrax left again. I don't what, care. Dude, you keep living, yeah, you say you don't care, but you're going to care when you become Bubba's fucking bitch. And you go to jail for doing this to the wrong motherfucker. Trust See, you what I'm, I'm saying, dude. I'm you funny. 
when I'm when you're family. funny in prison, Bubba doesn't care. Bubba be my friend. Hey, I'll be right back. I need. Hey, Lauren, yo. Okay. Right okay. Okay. All right. No problem. He's, okay. he's got to patrol the, the yard for the brick stealers. Well, wait a minute. He hung up again, I think. Ah. He said he'll be right back. I was going to say, maybe I should text him the link. Yeah, do that. See if he clicks it. Yeah, let's do he's that. So, I can't believe how dumb he is. I, I think he's dumb enough to believe that he's saying at this point. William, you see what I—you know what I'm doing, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Just so you know, because everybody in the chat's like, "Oh my God!" Like she believes it. No, no, I know. I, I get it. Do you still do the video? I haven't seen one in a long time. You put like uh, like oldies songs like at the end, or you like. Um, yeah, I used to, but then YouTube started saying I was the, like, yeah. yeah. YouTube said I was bullying him at that point, so they keep banning me and removing my channel. So now I just strictly do body cams. If I'm on my panel, I'll tear into him. But like when I'm on other people's panels, I'm really super nice to him or gentle to him, I should say, and usually gets uh, I can get him to answer some questions that way. Max is on that slut. What's sludge? It's his coffee drink. Um. Wait. Yeah, and he, you're right, Nick. He's trying to steer the public opinion his way. He's really desperate for the love. Um, friendships have been lost. I, I don't know. I'm not sure what he's doing here. He doesn't want to look bad. Oh, yeah, he was he was crying about Jake this uh, today on Facebook, about how Jake wants to break up with him now. Wait, so he was on Facebook today? Before we get back to highlights, I just want to point out that Lauren said that Root Dr. Thorne was adorable. He's got long hair, maybe dreads that he's got pulled back. Not, I watched Base Shaman. See, I know, no, I know Base Shaman. It's not him. It's not Base Shaman. It's no Bloodshot. Uh, what the f is his name? Yeah, Root. it must be Dr. Root. Root, Root. I think he's adorable. Yes, yeah. Root Dr. Thorne. Yep, that's him. I thought he had like dreads, but I'm not sure. I don't know. I do hey, this out of respect for hey, him. Hey, Chance. My Chance. Go, go, go to your room. You go to your room. Go night night. You do what go you night -night. do out of white, man. Do go night night. Wait. Hey. So, wait, is Sally in on this? I, I don't get it because I, when it comes to her, it's like. Some people think that she's in on it with him, but then some people think she's like a victim of all this. So where do you? Um, sorry, I think uh, she. Well, yes, I've seen a, it. That's a, that's a trick question. Um, sh she's she's part of the problem for sure because she could stop this and she refuses to. Um, but I think in this instance, she's telling him something, and he believes it. It's like the tattoo gun. Uh, yeah, what's up the with tattoo that? Gun. And he was sent a tattoo kit so he could do tattooing. And instead of telling Chance, no, you can't have it. I don't want you to have it. Ch uh, Sally comes up with this. Oh, you can't have it. It's illegal for you to own this. And he believes that. So that way she can she monitors his mail and his packages. We just really wanted to see him do a face tattoo on himself. Was he going to? Uh, I well, if he had gotten possession of the tattoo gun, we would have got him to do it, yeah. We would have told him how great it would have been. Tattoo. Yeah, what wouldn't that be mean? awesome? I mean, yeah, like he would be like, <laughs> I, I don't know. Imagine the infection he'd get, giving him that, his own tattoo in that room. Ugh. Things stopped getting interesting around here, so we're going to skip the rest of the call. Fast forward to June 20th, and William posted this on his community tab. I hear that Chance Wilkins thinks he will be getting a passport and visa to go see his boyfriend, Clint Johnston, in Australia. Well, that is interesting, Chance, as I happen to know a few people who work at the U.S. Department of State. They approve passport applications. I am pretty sure I can get your passport application denied, or at least lost, and in fact, I can also probably get you on the U.S. no-fly list, which would prevent you from getting on a plane. So maybe Chance should stop pretending he's even leaving Akron anytime soon.
Later that day, Cyrax would upload a karaoke video to his Facebook account, but because he doesn't talk in it, I'm not going to show it, as well as the one that he uploaded on the 21st. On June 22nd, Fed Smoker's Fiends would upload a video called A Troll's a Troll and a Cow's a Cow. This was re-uploaded from Cyrax's Facebook, where he talked about both his trolls, and he also started talking about other people that have been trolled, starting with, of course, Chris Chan. My name is Chance, and I'm here to expose the real truth here on Facebook about what the troll community, or these people that call themselves the troll community, do. And I know this is probably going to get reported, but I don't care. These five people that I'm about to sh these I'm gonna, yeah, these five people I'm about to show you guys, including myself, outside of myself, I'm their sixth. These five people I'm about to show you are victims of cyberbullying. Starting with the main one. The main one, Chris Chan. These people have been harassing him since 2001, and they coaxed him into doing stuff to his grandmother that got him arrested. Cyrax then started talking about people that are closer to the Martyverse, such as Tony the Black Dragon and Heather, before accusing Kiwi Tapes of being the man behind it all. Heather, aka Queen's Court. They made her flash herself on live stream, as well as made her believe that the United States was under attack from a nuclear bomb threat as well as called her sister and got them on live stream with her when she is not supposed to be around nor talking to her sister in any way shape or form tony the black dragon lord they got him to smear ketchup on his body while screaming that he wanted to be in the Bender Boys on a live stream. And ladies and gentlemen, the main culprit of all this stuff going on for their own entertainment, Kiwi Tapes. Also more commonly known as Kiwi Farms. After telling the Masshole Mafia story on how he got caught sending his mushroom pick to what he thought was a 14-year-old, Sax would then name off his own little legion of doom and told more lies. What these people have done is wrong. And never should have happened. And people are always asking, why am I now back on YouTube? I'll tell you why. Because I'm not going to be on a platform where toxicity reigns rampant. I'm speaking out against these people. These groups involved involve the main people which are Nicholas Beagler aka Music Biz Marty William Glory Hole CVG 2.0, aka Cyrax Video Games, Mass Troll Mafia, Base Shaman, Metal Gear Rax, and Fed Smoker. These seven people are the main ones that commit these crimes along with everybody else in their group as a collective. With me, they took it to a very, very high extreme. They blackmailed me. 
Cyrax made a call to action, asking for help once again before eventually ending the video. That's going on, that never got to happen. Those things never came to fruition. What these people are doing is wrong. And something needs to be done about it. So I'm calling on everyone that sees this video that knows that I'm not a bad person. I need you all in my friends list to share this around to your friends, your family, the authorities. Get people involved. Share this with everybody that you know that you can. Share it to everyone on your friends list. Share it to everybody that you know. Because this has got to stop, people. These people, these evil people make money off of people's misery like mine. And the other people that I showed you in the very beginning of the video. Do some of them have a past? Yes. But let's be honest, we all have skeletons in our closet. No one's perfect. We've all done things that we shouldn't have done. We've all done stuff that we regret. But this has got to stop. We need to put an end to this. Like I said, I want you guys to please share this video with everyone. Share it with your friends, your family, everyone in your friends list. I want this video to go viral on Facebook and all over every platform that you can get it on and expose these people for what they're doing. This has got to stop because eventually someone's going to take their life as a result of what these people do. I know I attempted to take twice because of these people. This has got to stop, guys. People have actually taken their lives because of these people. And eventually more is going to come if they are not stopped. So I'm asking everyone that sees this, that's on my friends list, share this with everybody that you know. And I mean everyone. Even if they don't want to see it, make them see it. Make them watch it. Please, guys, this has got to stop. Let's make a difference. Let's bring these guys down and put a stop to this. Marty would do two streams later that night, the first not being related to Cyrax in the slightest, and the second called trying to solve the cybercrime stuff. Marty started streaming during a three-person call between himself, Cyrax, and Michael Hacking live while they were having a conversation and started to threaten Cyrax's cable service. Hey! <laughs> Wait a second! Wait a second! Hey! Hang on a second here! Hey, bring it in. Hey, it's, hey, it's me, Marty! What are you talking about heated floors for? Wait. Chance, are you... Are you right now? Hey! That's personally identifying information. Uh, hey, what? Is, shame on you! My <laughs> wife, my wife was right. You, and you've got my shame on you, Michael Hackney. I told you that in confidence, Michael. What the? F dude, what are you gonna tell him that's about like a TV in my bathroom here? What the f dude? What the f man? Dude, you cannot be. You cannot be serious right now, dude. <laughs> Michael, shit! Hey, hey! Hey, what's the matter with you, dude? <laughs> Let me tell you right now, you hey, listen up, jerk wife. Hey, listen, I got your mother's cable information. Mama. Spectrum cable service. Spectrum cable service. Yeah, I got it all, dude. I got it all, bro. As a matter of fact, I've got all the tip of my fingers, Cyrax. 
and um, I'm giving out the internet right now. For, oh, you better get a new you you better get a new everything, cause your ass is a grass buster. Yeah, don't you wish you could? Don't you wish you could? Don't you wish you could? Uh, what do you mean a fair fight? What do you mean a fair fight, dude? Why don't you do yourself a favor and do like you said you were going to do? Fair fight. Guys, fuck off, huh? Fair fight. Dude, I just had an Achilles repair surgery. I just had my... You're my lap dog, boy. You're my You ain't nothing but a buster, dude. You don't... Hey, Marty, do yourself a favor. Marty, do yourself a favor. Sorry, Rex. Fine, I'm giving out your mother's cable information in five minutes. Dude, heated bathroom floors, dude? That's that's personal, man. I can't believe you. <laughs> you know those floors mean. <laughs> I don't know how to work them, but like... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sorry for like flying off the handle, but like, I just don't sorry for that shit. That's Hey. Hey, sorry, Rex. Fine, you're not gonna have cable. I say you're not gonna have cable. Hey Marty, why don't you do yourself a favor and get these dumbasses? Yeah, you That's what I was trying to do, dude. I'll read your I'll read your mom's cable shit out right now. I'll do it right now. I'm doing it right now. This no, 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 here, send the send the stream bear link. Send the stream bear link. Right, here, no, that's very good. Here, send the stream bear link. Here, I'm I'm about to put his cable information out there. Marty then gave a quick Cyrax update. Big news in the Cyrax sphere. His internet has been compromised. That's right, compromised. And uh, I'm gonna be giving away his grandma's login information. <laughs> then whatever, that's that's your problem. Um, dude, I thought I had the good lighter. Hang on a second here. Marty then got the idea to call up Spectrum using Sally's login. This is both going to be cut down for time, as well as have any doxing information removed. Welcome to Spectrum. Now offering Spectrum Mobile. This call may be recorded for quality and security purposes. But I am not much a jingle. Please tell me the phone number associated with your account or your account. Sorry, please say or enter the 10-digit phone number on your account. Oh. And by the way, they call it baseball patches. <laughs> that was... Yeah. Okay, got it. I'm pulling up your information. <laughs> In a few words... Please tell me what you're calling about. MLB baseball package. You're calling about sports channels or packages. Is that right? Yes. <laughs> Sorry, please say yes or no. Yes, <laughs> yes. Okay, please choose one of these options. Add channels, remove channels. Add channels. All right. I'll get someone to help you. Let me transfer you to a customer service representative. One moment, please.
Hello, thank you for calling into Spectrum. My name is Jennifer. How may I help you? Hey, Jennifer. Uh, I'm a big uh, Cleveland Indians fan before they became the Guardians, but let's not get all politically correct here. Uh, I'm going to add a sports package. Okay, well, I'd be more than happy to go over a <laughs> Could you confirm your name? Yeah, Sally Wilkins. And your address? Akron, Ohio. Do you know your four-digit security code? <laughs> As a matter of fact, I do. Yeah, it's... Thank you. So we do offer the sports pack <laughs> for $6 per month. Yeah, okay. I'll take Is it. Is that what you would like? Yeah. What else you got? Uh, as far as sports? No, just like I'm feeling high on the hog. Okay. Um, I mean, the Canadian channels, HBO, Showtime, Star, Star Talk. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay, so you want all the things? <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm going to be adding a sports pack, MGM stars, Twitter hot movies, Showtime, Cinemax. Yeah. Yeah. I'll take it. Okay. Can I put you on a brief hold? Sure. Absolutely. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> 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 All right, my system was going through an error, so I apologize. Um, so I was able to get um, basically all premiums that we offer. Dope. Dope. Yo, so do you know when WrestleMania is this year? I'm sorry? Like WrestleMania? Do you know when WrestleMania comes around? Yeah, it, it would tell me if I exit this. <laughs> Um, let me yeah, let me get that. Yeah, I mean, my family, my family love wrestling. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm going in on that. Okay, for sure. All I right. think WrestleMania is more of like um, where you purchase the fight kind of thing when they're yeah. married. Um, okay, and I can give you information. Give me a moment here. Okay. Because it is requiring me. Yeah, what about like SummerSlam? <laughs> When's that at? Okay, SummerSlam. Yeah, I want it all. Okay, for sure. Um, so give me just a second, though. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I want everything. Yeah. Okay, bear with me. I'm going to get... No, take your time. Okay, I'm going to be right back with you, sir. Okay. Good. <laughs> yeah, we're getting hooked up. <laughs> the fuck up. Just sit right up. Okay. Oh, we gotta get the WNBA package. All right, the so channel's <laughs> added. Now let's look okay. at the pay per view for WrestleMania. Yeah. So it looks like, as far as WrestleMania, next event. So there's an AEW for, for, forbidden. Uh, uh, I mean, I'm more of a WWF guy, but like, I love okay. wrestling as a whole. Like, so, what do you think? Well, let me see. I don't show any WWF. So let me see WWE. <laughs> tomato, no. tomato. Let me check SummerSlam. <laughs> No, it'll only show any pay-per-view events if it's like 
a week that it is airing. At this moment, I don't show any events for uh, WWE, WWF, or SummerSlam. All right, how about the WWE package? I'm a big Connecticut Sun fan. Uh, I don't know about you. Um, you know, I, I prefer the NBA, but like when it's out of season, yeah, I'll settle for some WNBA. You got, you got, you got the WNBA package. And I'm not so. There is seasonal sports, if that's what you're looking for. You'll tell me um, more. As far as seasonal sports right now, let me go back to that. Section. Okay. Okay, can I, like, pre-reserve NFL Sunday ticket? We do, no, that's going to be through DirecTV. Okay, we okay. We have the Red Zone and the NFL Network, and that's in that sports pack you added. Okay, how about, how about the Spice Network? Is that still a thing? No, I've never heard of that, sir. It's, you know, it's kind of like, you know. A r- okay, we do have adult channels. <laughs> Um, we've got things like Hustler, Playboy, Visit, TV. Okay. Are you wanting maybe some adult channels hmm. as well? Don't mind if I do. <laughs> okay, so with the list here, let me go into the adult network. <laughs> All right, so I've got Real Adult, Ten Adult, Hustler, Vivid, Kids, Playboy, Manhandle and here. Manhandle? Yes. What does that consist of? I'm not sure. They don't give us a description of each. Is it going to show up on the bill? Like. It would show up as a discreet. Okay, um, then then give me it. Then give me it. I'll take it. Okay. Okay. So each one is $15.99. Done. Perfect. Yeah, just. Did you want them all? I'll take them. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so there's about 10 adult networks I'm going to add. 15 a pop, but I think it's very affordable. Like, yeah. yeah, it's like five bucks a day over the course of a month. Like, it's like, yeah, sign me up. Okay, so I went ahead and added that to the same order. Now, everything we're doing, you won't be charged until your next bill. That's fine. Um, but these channels take up to an hour to start working. Normally, they're media. Okay. Um, I have added all channels. Um, Perfect. Okay. I'm mm-hmm. on the last screen, and it's making me override it again. I'm going to put you on one more brief hold, okay? Mm. <laughs> the man handle network. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Again, and all channels have been added. Okay, so 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 like my my, my better half, uh, you know, she's not as like progressive. You know what I mean? Like she's a little, little bit of a a tame dame. Um, is there any way I could change the password, like like the pin code to this account as well? Like just so she doesn't like create any sort of a fuss. Um, like what kind of password? Like so you look like a four digit pin code. Yeah. yeah. So you can do that through your remote. Um, with us, that security code is auto-generated, and okay. it wouldn't change from what's on your bill. Okay. Um, when you call in, though, we can do temporary codes like uh, email or whatnot. Well, mm, if, if if you can't help me out with it now, then I'll just deal with it on on the first or whenever. You know, that's fine. I don't care. Okay. I, uh, well, all yeah. changes have been made, though. Hey. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. My pleasure. We'll try and have a great rest of your evening. I will. All right. All right. All right. Bye. 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 <laughs> hey, bye. Yeah. Later that day, William would upload a Cyrex video recorded by Fed Smokers Fiends called Please Help. What's up, guys? Metal Cornelia here. Um. I can't be off for very long because I run the risk of my family getting thrown out. I need everyone's help. People say that I'm the strong person. 
for surviving through all this but I'm really not I'm not strong I've been fighting to keep my head above water the whole time and I just I can't do it anymore mentally I am f***ing drained I'm done mentally I am fucking drained I am mentally drained I'm physically getting sick again because of stress yesterday I threw up twice from stress These people are committing crimes and the police are not doing anything to help. And it's destroying me. It's destroying my family. These people that are doing all this to me and have been doing this to me for years are committing crimes. They're committing felony and federal crimes. And they don't even care. After a 10 minute sob story, the man who's not supposed to have an internet connection retires from streaming. That's all I want is my fucking life back that I had stolen from me and to stop being attacked and bullied every fucking day. That's all I ask. Someone throw further notice, guys. I'm sorry, but I'm retiring as a streamer until further notice. Until all this shit gets dealt with, I'm retiring. Because I am tired of being attacked. I'm tired of my family suffering. I'm tired of my friends and loved ones being attacked for no reason. I can't do this anymore guys, I'm sorry. <sighs> and honestly, I don't know when or if I'll be back. I really don't know. I mean, I would like to think that I can come back sometime soon, but I'm sorry. I can't do this no more, guys. So until further notice, I'm retiring. Later that day, the YouTuber Skase would upload a call he had with Cyrax earlier that day playing the character Andrew Gravinsky, where he both claimed responsibility for taking things off Cyrax's porch as well as claiming to be a member of the Associates. Listen, Chance. You want to know who I am? I can tell you who I am. I'm an Associate, Chance. I'm an Associate. I'll tell you my name. My name is Andrzej Gruzinski. You can't spell that anyways, but... Just a bit ago, I was in Akron, in Ohio, and... It just so happens that... While I was there, your chairs and your fence got f***ed up. So who do you think that was? Who do you think did it? I honestly don't know, dude. I'm going to tell you this It was right me. Now. All, all this and all me and my family want to do is live our lives and We're going to f***ing ruin you, bro. We're going to ruin We're going to ruin your chance. It was me. Fuck. I've done nothing to you guys. You guys don't have a raise the glass with me. I've done nothing to you. I'll tell you what we want. I'll tell you what we want. We want you to mature and just change as a person. That's all we want. And we also we need. All right, let me ask this: How am I supposed to do that if I'm constantly being fucking attacked all the time? Apologize. Sincerely apologize. Get off the internet and change. Shut the fuck up and listen, dude. That's what you gotta do. No, shut the fuck up and listen, dude. It's kind of hard to fucking do what you want me to do. Where I'm 
thing you get tracked all the time, man. Get off the internet. If y'all stop. Get off the internet, Chance. What? No. I have just as much right to be on honor as you do, motherfucker. Okay, I'll... Just as much listen. Right. You don't run shit. You don't run shit, dude. I took your chairs, I broke your fence. No, 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 no. No, dude, listen. You need to fucking understand. This shit you and your boys are doing. Do you not I'm just an associate. I have enough... Oh, no, but you shut up and fucking listen for a guy. Boy, you guys have had enough time to talk and attack me. Now it's my turn to fire back with that. What are you gonna do? Do you not fucking real? Do you not realize I have more than enough evidence? What are you gonna do, Chance? Every single one of you motherfuckers. Do you not realize I have more than enough evidence to have every single one of you motherfuckers locked up? Do you not realize? Then why does why has the police not done anything? They hate you, Chance. Oh no, done. Shut the fuck up and listen, boy. All you guys have ever done to me is attack me, harass me, attack my family, attack my friends, and for what? Money, clicks, and views? No, we just want you to change. We want you to change, Chance. How am I supposed to change if you guys don't stop attacking me? Maybe if you stop attacking me, my Stop talking family. to children. Stop talking Here's to little thing, kids. Dude. I don't, dude. I honestly don't, and I can prove that a million times. Prove it. Go on stream. I prove it. Get on stream and prove it. I've proven that a million You haven't? Times. No. No. Actually, I have, you douchebag motherfucker. I have proven that over a bazillion times, but nobody wants to fucking listen. No one wants to see the truth when I'm telling the truth. I don't talk to little kids like that. That these other fucking assholes going around photoshopping and making shit up to make me look like shit. All the time, get a big chance. click. Wait, no, shut up and listen. Who was they Chloe Rose? Your money? Shut your goddamn mouth, boy. Right now. Because let me tell you right now, you associate, I ain't your. You guys are my name is Andrew. My name is Andrew. Honestly, he kind of reminded me of Agent Smirnov, but that's all I have to say about that character. There's nowhere left to run, Scott. You are wanted for using hacks on online games and for smuggling cocaine across Canada and Russia for the past 16 years. The motherland demands you serve 37 consecutive death sentences. Do you accept? No. There wasn't much else to that call outside of Cyrax raging, but there was this bit of foreshadowing. By the end of the day, the authorities will be notified in your country and your world. Really? 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 Where, where can you find the Polish police? We're gonna call them. Can you speak Polish? You have connections. Can you speak Polish? Who are your connections? What are your connections? Cyrax would then upload a video on YouTube called Making a Simple But Catchy Beat. Uh, KY Productions, or KY Studios. And today we're gonna work on a random video. Figure I'd jump in since I didn't post anything in a while. You know, jump back in and do some So with that being said, I'm gonna shut the fuck up. And we're gonna get to making some music. Also, if, you're on, if you are new, man, don't forget to hit that like button and the subscribe button down below, fucking. And with that being said, like I said, I'm gonna take some of this coffee, I'm gonna shut up, I wanna get to make some music. <laughs> now, I hope you trust me after all the Cyrax videos that I've made that one, that was not a catchy beat, and two, it just turned into 34 minutes of this.
Later, Marty did a stream called Cyrex is Ticked Off. Um... So yeah, Sarx was he was willing to appear, but I guess he was like trouble accessing the internet. Like, I guess after this whole cable deal, um, it's it's been shut off, to the best of my understanding. Well, there you go. Uh, is MC even here right now? I guess Sarx made a video. I haven't watched it yet. It seems like pretty, pretty uh, worse for wear. The next day, on June 24th, Cyrix uploaded a video directed to Candle Smith called Candle Smith the Lazy Fraud. Since this is only three minutes, what do you say we watch the whole thing? Hi y'all. What up YouTube? I'm making this video for the Candle Smith. Candle, you need to shut the f up. Your lying ass needs to shut the hell up. You sitting there saying that I'm not allowed to speak your name? And tell that fucking whatever document you have against me is handed to me by a processor, like by a person from the courts, and somebody that deals with that sh I'm not doing shit. You're just mad because I tell the truth about your ass. You tried to run over a cop with an RV. You slandered my name by saying that I'm a pedophile. You tried to have Paul kill me. You talked about killing me to Paul. Oh, let's not forget stolen valor, bitch. Yeah, wearing your dad's uniform to try to get free shit. That's stolen valor, dumb Do you not realize that's a federal crime, you dumb bimbo blonde Like, you're a f***ing pussy. You're a dumb f***ing candle. Do you not realize that this went to court, which, even if it does, you're gonna f***ing lose. Because one, all the sh** I just mentioned, and two, you have several warrants out for your arrest in several different states, including here in Ohio. So, candle, if I was you, I would have f***ed around. And do the shit you're doing. Because the shit you're doing is going to get you arrested. You can't blow holes in the truth. All the shit you've done is all the fuck over the internet. Bitch. Every little fucking thing. Everything you tried to do to me. Paul, oh let's not forget. When you tried to run over a police officer with an RV. After he pulled your ass over. All that shit's all over the internet. You can't blow holes in the truth, you dumb. You can't do it. So, Candle, fair warning. Step off and get lost. Or guess what? It's gonna get real ugly in the courtrooms for you. So, if I was you, I would fuck off. Seriously. Well, not too long later, William announced that Cyrax, by making that video, broke a peace bond and would be going to court over it on July 3rd. Around this time, a picture of Cyrax with a fake YouTube play button started circulating that I was sure was a Photoshop when I saw it, but instead turned out to be a replica from Epsi that was sent to his house with a cover story that it was the combined total of all of Cyrax's YouTube channels put together. Skip to June 25th, and you already know what happened, but before the part you came here for, CVG would call Cyrax to tell him that the play button he received was fake. I'm gonna tell you this it's a fake play button, Chance. It's fake. It's fake. Seven dollars. Seven dollars on Etsy. Seven dollars on... I'll send you a picture. Seven dollars on Etsy. Seven dollars on Etsy, you dude. You just can't. Seven dollars on Etsy. Seven. I'm gonna send it to you. I'm gonna send it to you. <laughs> You're so happy about a seven dollar fucking fake thing. So stupid. <laughs> it's fake, dude. It's seven seven seventy seven. It's fake. I am. Not... 
<laughs> no, not really. Not really. Not to mess with. Messing with you is my top priority. I'm calling Ed right after this. I'm calling Ed. I'm going to call Ed all day. I'm going to call Ed all day. I'm calling Ed all day. Oh, what a little f it. Then it happened. We got footage out of nowhere of Cyrax being taken out of his house in cuffs. That's it. Let it all out. Let it all out, Cyrax. I want to know why you did this to me. Because you're a predator. He is not a predator. Okay, well, sell that to the evidence that do speaks. You, do you have uh, anything? Actually, this is public. Oh, yeah, this is public. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm just public. Go. Sir, you sir, go. sir, will you, you gotta go. You need to keep him away from me. You gotta go. You're gonna go to jail too, Ed? You're gonna go to jail too? This is public. Don't make it worse. This is public. Not right here, eh? Uh, this is a public no, sidewalk. This is a sidewalk. Back up before you catch a charge too. So, Cyrex got arrested, but for what exactly? Well, Cyrex committed assault on a troll called Aware of Myself. Today on Audem's Unsolved Mysteries, in a neighborhood in Akron, Ohio, a simple picketer was assaulted in broad daylight by a reported attic goblin caught on film. Join me on this intriguing case, and perhaps you could help solve a mystery. Music Biz Marty was dead on the money. He looks way worse in person. Everything is terrifying about this man. Uh, his hygiene, his stature, uh, he was like looking, he's looking at me and also looking at the sidewalk. But when Cyrax came out with the bat, the neighborhood started wilding out. Everybody was coming up. There's people recording. Uh, one of the neighbors, which was the, some of the first people I talked to when I arrived, uh, an, uh, uh, an older gentleman with his wife, they come down and the older gentleman picked up my sign and was like, suck my suck my You know, well, he's a Viking. He's a, a samurai. He's got he's got biker and military blood in his veins. I'm lucky to be alive, you know. But I'm still fucking standing. I'm still standing, Cyrax. To tell the story short, aware of myself, was passing through Akron and decided to protest outside of Cyrax's home with a sign that said Chance Wilkins is a predator. Of course, Cyrax didn't like that and went outside with a baseball bat to attack him. After Cyrax went back inside, Sally called the police in this 911 call. Note that it will be shortened for time and any doxing info, of course, redacted. Akron Police and Fire, Tech 243. Yes, I need a police officer at my house right now, please. What? There's a gang of guys out there that's after my son. Where are they at right now? Out in front of my house. Who are they? Pardon? Who are they? They're, I don't know, they're getting people okay. from the internet. Oh, how many would you say there was? Half a dozen, maybe a dozen? Well, my son had a bat when he got the bat, so... Alright, they'll be over there shortly for you. Thank you. When the police did arrive, Cyrax called Michael Hacking about the situation right before the arrest. Michael. No, no, stop. Stop with bombarding me with people to talk to. What is the 911? What, what, what is it? Eight motherfuckers just showed up in my house and tried to attack me and my family. Okay, well, why don't you call the police? We did. They're here right now. Well, what a, so but what? Dude, but dude, this has got to fucking stop. We got to do something to put what? a stop to this. What? They showed up at her house and tried to attack me. How, how, did, how did they try to attack you? Signs, all kinds of things. Yeah. I got it on hand. Hang on. Ask for as soon as possible so I can get the fuck up out of here. Because the guys outside are wanting to press charges even though they antagonize hey, wait, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait. 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 Eight guys showed up at your house, and what did they do? They tried to attack your family, but they want to press... Basically, what happened was they stepped on our property, would not back... They, like eight, there was like eight of them. A couple of them stepped onto our property with signs protesting. Ed told them to back off, 
So I went and grabbed it them because, you know, we're allowed to protect our property. They wouldn't leave. I gave them a warning to back off and to get off the... They wouldn't do it. And as I went to swing to get one of the guys off the property, right when he grabbed the bat, his feet was on the sidewalk where our property line ends. What, but, but you said you never hit him. Yeah, I didn't make contact, but what he did was he grabbed, like okay. he held his hand out to grab the bat. Okay. After the arrest happened, Aware of Myself would talk about it on Bloodshot Records' YouTube channel. I'm going to do the highlights from that stream. Oh, okay, Aware of Myself. Uh, welcome. Is this real you? Oh, what's up, dude? Yo, hello. Dude, let me just ask you a question. Like, what, what were your first thoughts when you seen this guy running out of the fucking house? I I didn't think he was going to swing on me, that's for sure. I thought he was going to do the... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm parked at a McDonald's. Oh, it's all good. Don't worry I thought, about it. I thought he was going to do the usual, just like yelling, you know, kind of like being like all like big and bad, Billy Badass, like he likes to say. Um, really, it was real hard for me to restrain myself not to assault him back because I was doing everything legal eagle for a reason. I made sure I could be there. I made sure I could protest. I got my sign. I don't know if you guys can see this. It says... Chance That's Wilkins is a, is a child predator. Um, I I just wanted to make sure that I didn't assault him back so I could press charges, which I have pressed charges. If we can't get him arrested for being a pedophile, he'll be arrested for assault with a deadly weapon. So, you know, there's that. So, People were asking if it hurt. It felt like I, it's like a little kid hitting you with a baseball bat. I mean, it hurt in the sense that I felt something. It was more like he hit me with a teddy bear kind of thing. Uh, it was really laughable, the whole situation. And um, Music Biz Marty was dead on the money. He looks way worse in person. What What did he smell like? <laughs> I, I'm wearing this, and so I didn't, I didn't smell anything. Thank God. Um, yeah, this wasn't just to protect my identity. It was to protect my nose as well. Uh, that's okay. a joke. Uh, um, yeah, I, luckily I was blessed enough that I didn't have to smell him. I didn't have to touch him either. I just grabbed the bat. Um, so yeah, I, luckily no scabies. I will. I'm going to shower uh, as soon as I get the availability, though. Right call. Right. Word on the street is. Word on the street is. Reason the footage hasn't been released is because Cyrac kicked your ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, dude. Yeah. So uh, bad. <laughs> yeah. Cyrax beat my ass. He beat my yeah. super bad. Yeah. I cried yeah. about it. Uh, yeah. yeah, no, like I said, I'm on mobile. <laughs> my my original phone broke, so if anybody's sending me stuff on Cash App, yeah. I won't be able to acknowledge it until I get my phone fixed. I had to buy a new phone this morning. You know, um, my I sent the footage to my bills. associate. What's that? Pay for your hospital bills. Yeah, yeah, yeah the hospital <laughs> bills. Yeah, yeah, my emotional, uh, uh, damn, my my trauma, my therapy. Um, yeah. You know, so I uh, oh shit, I forgot what I was saying. It was about raising awareness, and then we did more than that. We got the goblin locked up. Uh, that footage is is it's great, and I hope it inspires more activists. I I was telling Cyrax, I said we're not trolls, Cyrax. We're activists. We're 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 out here. We're spreading the word about yeah, you. We it's make not a, trolling we make anymore. a big difference. We make a, a big difference. Changing exactly. the world for the better. <laughs> yeah. The next day, on June twenty sixth. Sally would post Cyrax's bail, and later that day, a phone call from the Wilkins landlord, Karen, from the month prior would surface. Normally, I would just do highlights of this call and redact any personal information, but on the 29th, a police visit from the same day as the call would also surface. Because of that, I'm going to show the police visit first. But before I do that, I want to point out how funny it is Cyrax is yelling at the cop through the screen door after Sally locks him inside. Well, we've been having problems here. Some people that have problems with my son. They had an internet scam on Craigslist. They've been doing this for about a month now. They've been trying to take everything away. This morning they came to try to take the fence. A couple of guys was responding to Craigslist. Okay. My, uh, my landlord says I had to, I needed to report it. So. I guess for her insurance purposes, but they've been 
trying to take my car. They've had four different people come out here and try to take Once my car. Once the police women are here taking the fence. Because they took off. Why'd you call the police when they came here and take the fence? I was asleep. So how do you know it's two guys? I was asleep. I got, went to the bathroom. I heard some noise. I went and looked out my uh, the window. And I told them to put, put the stuff back down. And they left. So, it, 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 uh, your, 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 your son has big issues on the internet. Yes. So, did he tell the people to come here to take the fence? No, it's somebody no, from... What it is, is these people have an issue with me. And uh, in order to attack me, they're sending people here to do this stuff. All right. 20. Now, they sent three, four different people out here to try to take my car, too. 20. Yes, sir. Uh, sorry, I have an issue with the radio. Can I get a report please? Sure, your number is 66428. 66428. Copy, thanks. You're welcome, 23. Uh, which last one, sir? Wilkins. 23, I have the laundry. Copy, 1232. I want to get back in there and talk to the officer. What? Okay. Alright, alright. The owner of the house is going to be here. She wants to. Uh, where? Where is it? Okay, what time did this happen? Oh, about an hour ago. Thank you, Bert, the children of the yard. Or, that's what I want to call. Okay, the children. Uh, what do they look like? 11, uh, An older gentleman. White, black. White. I don't know if that could have been his son or something. Is this the shooting on the 11th that you're asking for? How old are they? I'd say the one was at least in his 50s. The other one maybe in his 30s. Okay. What kind of truck? I don't know. All I know is it was black. And what'd they say when you told them to leave? They couldn't believe it, but they just did what I said and put it back and they left. But what did they, what did they say anything to you? No. You didn't ask them why they're taking the fence? Well, I knew why. Because okay, these people are doing this. <laughs> you wouldn't believe how many things that come up missing. Well, it's because just chance causes a lot of issues on the internet. Yeah, I know. I understand no, that. Not. Yes, you do. Hey, Mouse! I don't cause these issues. They do this to us. We've been here 113 times. I've seen your YouTube videos, yeah, man. You don't and I've seen your videos. Chance! Go on, go upstairs. You don't know what the hell I go through, man. You don't see the so, with these guys. Go upstairs! No, I'm tired of people thinking I'm a fucking joke. You clearly don't see what these people do to me. Okay. Let me go to the port. I'm going to wait in the cruiser. Okay. After listening to Cyrax for two minutes, the cop went back to his car to talk to the landlord, Karen. Because she's by far the most innocent person in this story, I will not be showing her face or saying her last name. Again, the following will be cut down for time. Um, there's been fencing and that stolen. Uh, it wasn't stolen, it was taken down. More than likely, uh, Chance had something to do with it. Because it was online stuff. 
Because they're, they're claiming uh, he's... What's, what is even going on? I only know half of the story. I don't know all the story. I don't know what's going on. I only hear hits and pieces. All I know is I'm my stuff is becoming missing now. We've they're stealing here. my stuff. We've been here 113 times since we got this new system. Wow. Yeah. Uh, he's... He, he has mental issues and, and whatnot, and he, he, he causes a, a bunch of issues online because we get calls from people out of state saying that he's threatening to kill people, suicide, whatnot. So that's why we're constantly out here. Uh, you know, Is there something we can do? Uh, victim. Because like if you look at the screen here, um, harassment, meet a party, welfare check, all these welfare checks are because of him. Um, well, she's a super good runner. I don't want her to go, but no, I, I, I don't know what can be done without Chance. What can be done? No, really nothing because that's his mom and his mom's taking care of him. But see, all these issues, this is all because of Chance. Assault? Yeah. Is that to his mom? No. He's hit her before. She won't do nothing about it. She won't. She won't so, do nothing. Right. So there's um, some somebody assaulted Chance, but we they he constantly calls in for suspicious vehicles here, whatnot. Um, so like th this is all because of Chance, and this is just this year alone, starting on uh, 5th of January. So, I I don't know what's going on with, with the fence thing, because she said she woke up, there's a guy that was backed in with his tr in the truck with his son, um, and essentially they were taking the fence down, and they were taking sections of the fence. She told them to, uh, you know, stop, can't do that, yada, 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 you're not supposed to be here, so they took the fencing, put it back, and put it back down, and they just left. So they, to me, it sounds like they were under the impression that they were allowed to get it. And knowing Chance's history with his online presence, I wouldn't be, so, so she's saying they're, they're getting scammed, but I wouldn't be surprised, I'll show you this, um, if something had uh, to do with uh, Chance. Is there anything else I can do besides a victim? Um, they ain't got nowhere to go. No, I know. Uh, honestly, not really. And she's a good runner. I, I just want something done with Chance. Okay, well, you can go on YouTube. Okay. And you can just search Cyrax, C-Y-R-A-X-X, -X, Akron. And all these videos are on him. What the heck is that? What is... And, and a lot of these videos are people talking about Cyrax and all, this, all the videos that he's posted. YouTube's taken down a lot. But, but these are the ones that are just archived. So you can do Cyrax uh, with two X's, Akron. We have this new system. We got this new system back in 2019. So we've had 113 calls just on this new system um, since November of 2019. We've been coming here well before this new system. Um, my advice would be to go down to the station. You don't need the printouts of the every the notes of every single call but try and get a list of every single time you've came out well we've came out here since um, Chance and his mother lived here all those calls um, and, and they can all and it's, it, it, you can get them listed like this where it's just all in rows get that I would call adult protective services let them know what's going on um, tell them about how many times we've we been out here since this new system? You said how many? A hundred and what? Hundred thirteen times with this new system, but we've been coming out here before that. Um, so get a total number of calls of how many times we have come out here because of chance, um, and I would give them this website. Tell them YouTube. Look up Cyrax. C Y R A X X. Um, Can you write that down? Yeah, I'm gonna write that down for you. Thank you. Um, Cyrax. I am just really beside myself. 1250. Yeah. Because at least that way, um, they can go online and watch those videos. Then? Um, 
typically if APS deems uh, somebody needs like special attention and care or, or, or even more uh, just being thoroughly watched over um, because of the inability of, for them to care for themselves or cause issues or whatnot, they would take custody of them and they would put them uh, in, in a home setting where they can monitor him. Because I was wondering if I need to get a lawyer. Um, you wouldn't need to. I mean, uh, if you're going to evict them, um, you would just have to go down to the county. I don't want to do that. I want him to get help. He, he, he started coming up with some con concoct story, but he goes, no, when I'm talking to mom, she goes, like, we're being scammed. And I go, are you sure, Chance? Because uh, she locked Chance in, in the house when I was talking to her in the back. Um, I go, are you sure Chance didn't arrange something with somebody on Craigslist? She goes, no. And Chance says, no, that's not how it happened. Yeah, that video of the Bell store was talking so about. So he, he concocted something with somebody on the internet. I'll head over there here. You know, she did, she's had to change her phone number so many times, okay? And so the, this last time she she uh, did, these people found out her number and, and they're bothering her. And they, they're, they're bothering me, too. Mm -hmm. They're calling me. Mm -hmm. And I just don't answer. I don't answer any phone number I don't know, so I just don't answer it. Yeah. But it's them. It's, it, it, it could be any whole host of people, too, because Chance has been doing this for years. Who I need to call or get a hold of, too. Like I said, you, I'm, I'm writing all this down for you. Um, you can call Adult, Adult Protective Services, see if they can help you out. But if not, um, if you want to stop dealing with this, next step is just to evict him. Number two. Number two. So, because, and the fact that the two men that came here in broad daylight pulled in the driveway and casually were taking the fence down to load up and then when she came out and stopped them they unloaded the fence and they put it back down because she told me you're not allowed to take it so it's not like they were coming here just to steal the fencing right there because you can go you, you can go to the vacant home and take the fence and there's did nothing. you happen to talk to these people no they were they were gone so I asked her I was like you know did they did you talk to them like would you did you ask them like what's going on and she said, um, she's like, no, I was, I was asleep. I heard banging. So I woke up and I came outside and I saw them taking the fence down and loading it up. And that's when she stopped them and they said, okay. And they put it, put it back down. So if they really wanted to steal it, they wouldn't have unloaded it. They would have just drove off with it. But they put it back down, placed it up next to the garage okay. and left. So from the way things sound, it doesn't even sound like it's, really truly a theft but when chance was listening he says no this is what happened you know when i was on the internet essentially is what he said and mom cut him off okay. i'm sorry it, it is and and i'll, I'll be frank I'll with you like with i know me i'm not gonna speak for any other officers but for myself uh, i get irritated every yeah. time they call um and i'm i'll be honest i'm very short with them because i know his antics we, we all know his antics because of the internet yeah you can so I'm, I'm going to be doing a miscellaneous report for this incident. Um, I, I'm, I'm going to have to look further into the state code, but she says they're getting scammed. But my with my knowledge and history here, I don't think she is. It's chance. But um, I can potentially do a criminal damaging report. At some point after that, Karen called the police department. Akron Police and Fire. Uh, yes, sir. Um, I'm calling about Lloyd Street. Okay. I am the owner. Um, I have been threatened twice now, just today. Mm -hmm. And um, they're, they said that they're going to come and... I just had my house sighted. And now they're um, saying that they're going to come and take the siding off my house. And um, they want to know if it's okay to do that. The house at 339 Lloyd? Yes, sir. 
I have been threatened. Okay, who's who's threatening you? I don't know these people. If you know anything about what's going on at Lloyd, there's been 113 phone ca- or calls out there for the cops that I know of. Um, uh, like I said, I own the house, so I'm not sure what all was going on. But now they got me involved. Now they're calling me. Now these people are calling me and threatening me and gonna. Well, um, and how are they threatening you exactly? Well, would you? Uh, Say it's threatening if somebody threatens you that they're going to come take the siding off your house. No. So how did they get your cell phone number? Good question. Well, it, it, and I'm going to say it all goes back to I don't your know, tenant. sir. I'm going to say it all goes back to your tenant. Do you have any kind of a... I'm, I mean, I think that all you have to do is go to the library and um, everybody's numbers should be at the library from what I heard. Well, you, you've heard wrong because... I know for a fact there are numbers that aren't in there. Okay. Oh, okay, good. There has right. to be there has to be something simpler than this. And and the other let's go to the flip side. Do you honestly think somebody who's threatening to take the siding off of your house is gonna to go to a library to look up your phone number? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what these guys are doing. Okay, okay. I don't understand any of it. Okay. I, I'm I'm asking you to use your logical brain, your reasonable brain. Do you think that somebody would do something as as flip it as threaten you to tear siding off of your house would go to a library to look up a phone number to send you a text message well, probably not because I've been getting these phone these okay. phone calls for a while now so it would it would but seem this is the first time that they've threatened to take off my siding though I, I understand that but have they did they say we threatened to take off your siding and give the address do I when they told you they they're going to take off the siding, did they tell you what address they're going to take it off of? Yes. Okay. So we're narrowing. That's why in a I called. Bit that's here. why we're, I called. We're narrowing. That's in why a I called you. Here. There's a whole lot of information that's known that would only not be known by your tenant, and if they share it with their friends. Or well, who knows what chance did? Or the people you hired to put the, the siding on. Was there some kind of problem there that they wanted more? No. Is this a business thing? I mean, because you're, no, you're, you're, you have to look at this from a logical standpoint, and the rational standpoint would be either this the son that's the problem gave your information to his friends. This he, has to do with the internet. He's. It, what do you mean the internet? What? 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 Do you, I'm confused. What These you guys that are causing the problems are on the internet. On YouTube, YouTubers. So you're saying your tenant doesn't know them at all? Well, I don't... I don't know much about what's going on other than now that I'm getting... Now they're threatening to do stuff to my house. Okay. They've already okay. they've already taken all my bricks. I had 100 bricks. Those are all gone. I had uh, fencing up. They came and took my fencing down and was going to take it. Uh, uh, the, uh, what was your fencing made of? Wood. Okay. And um, so the uh, tenant uh, heard some noises outside, so they were getting ready to take off with it. And she caught them before they left, and she told them to drop it. Okay. And um, so uh, they're they're starting to take my stuff. Um, They already took all her stuff. Now they're taking mine. Also, on some point that day, Michael Hacking and William Gloryhole would do a stream together where Michael played a recording of himself and Cyrax on the phone after Cyrax was released from jail. Cyrax, surprising no one, admitted to talking over the judge. The uh, lady that I spoke to the judge was like complaining on her freaking... I don't think they tend to... They tend to look at you like you're guilty until they figure... Oh, so I would have to say to you. Because, like, I made a mistake when I was speaking. Like, now I made a mistake like that, but, like, I... He made a mistake. Shocking. Mm-hmm. He, he over-talked the judge on this one. I, I, I can't even believe this happened. Yeah, right? right? I went to speak, and she's like, wasn't talking to you. And it's <laughs> like, sorry. <laughs> wow. Did, did they give you a lawyer yet? Did, you must have gotten a... Yeah, yeah they, they, they did give me a lawyer. He's an intern that 
stolen case and is willing to take it on. So hopefully, he, he's an intern, intern lawyer. You should. Have, <laughs> you should have, I don't think. He's such I don't an think. Idiot. He, <laughs> I just, thank God that somebody gets it on my level because sometimes I think I'm just a weirdo. <laughs> yeah, he's he's an intern. You know. Yeah, intern. Hey, that's somebody that works for free that's in law school. What do you have? What <laughs> I'm like, I swear to God, like, how does how does how does this can happen? This it everything comes out of his mouth. He lies when the truth don't matter. Michael Hacking then said how different Cyrix's version of events were from what actually happened. Because like what that dude did showing up with those people, that was that was Oh. Yeah. All right. Somebody, somebody needs to help me with this one because you guys all heard the call from beforehand. There's eight people outside attacking uh -huh. my family. Attacking yeah, with signs. what? <laughs> attacking with what? Signs. Okay. The video I saw, one guy caught a bat and threw him to the ground. Right. Where are the seven other people that were attacking? The, I still don't even understand that part. Oh, yeah. So the the other seven people were off to the uh, the the side of the house, but those were all neighbors. Then they oh, helped. They they came gotcha. in and joined in to help protest the, the little file. I don't think he realizes that yet. Oh. Yeah. Hey, Marty, there's a link in Discord for you if you want it. How come they didn't catch any of the other eight people, or how come they didn't want to follow up on any of them? That just seems because shocking to me. Then, because by the time the police showed up, they all fucking scattered except for that one dude. Because they didn't want to get arrested, they wanted to save their own necks. <laughs> So what what do you think they could have gotten arrested on? Because did they hit did they hit you or shit and stuff like that? Because there was people that recorded parts of it for you. Like I just like I haven't seen much of it. I just have been fucking. I honestly don't know what they could have gotten them on other than uh slander and defamation of character, really. That's the only thing I can think of, honestly. Yeah. But that, those are again those are the civil things which they you know the cops don't want to have anything to do with they're going to just pass that on to someone else this is this is all that i have to fucking filter through constantly to get the few little nuggets that i get i mean right yeah I, seriously it's I, I have two th i have two fucking therapists right now because of this kid <laughs> surprisingly cyrix didn't talk about getting teardrop tattoos on his face while on the inside when asked about prison tats before doing more lying so did you get any gang tats while you were in there no, 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 no. I did actually have a couple of guys that actually, uh, they somewhat, like, heard about what was going on when I got in there somewhat. Mm -hmm. Like, like, I told them that stuff, and I explained the whole situation. Okay, general, like, incoming holding in Akron, Ohio, three counties. How quickly you think his story of, of def defamation circulated that a few guys had already heard it? <laughs> Well, it's not even real. He's a celebrity, though. Come on. You know, I, I was waiting for him to be like, yeah, so like when I finally bonded out, they carried me out on their shoulders. Yeah. <laughs> He's such a fucking monkey. I know what, dude. Like, that is seriously, like, even they agreed that that dude that did that, you should have been arrested as well. Oh, yeah. Well, I think I definitely do agree that him doing that, like, he should have been arrested right then and there. Right. I mean, again, I don't know. I mean, that's what they said. I mean, I've said from the start that I'm going to see eye to eye with everything with you, but I just I just think the off YouTube behavior is just a futile event, you know. Cyrax then gave us his explanation on what happened again before accusing William Glory Hole of being the culprit and there that night. I went to swing and when the guy caught it, his foot stepped back and that's how he got me for assault because when he stepped back, he was no longer on our property. Oh. And they ended up getting me on that. Uh, the old falling backwards while the guy's swinging a baseball bat yeah, and then right. leaves your property, right? Yeah, I shot him five times and he just fell over the property line. <laughs> no, it, yeah, it looked like he was swatting at a fly. I'm going, what's he doing? Jesus. Doesn't he sound like eerily just totally? I think he's either sedated or he's like, he's had like kind of a 
like a crack in his in his mentality or his, his nervous system or something and maybe he's just overloaded and he's i don't know i don't know it just sounds weird to me i mean yeah, it's not I what just, I expected to hear either. That's what I'm saying. Like I've I've never seen this kid where he's not like completely despondently upset. Where yeah, but he's where he's just always. yeah, he's just you know he's he's like it's gotta stop. I mean that's what he was last night. I mean I like though I thought they were actually beating him senseless inside the house when I heard that. Like I didn't think any could be anything could be better than the freaking wombat whale Marty caused. But Jesus, he was fucking going nuts last night, right? Oh, yeah. And then he turns to the fake tears, you know, why are you doing this to me? I'm sorry that I hit him with a baseball bat, but you don't know my story. You know, <laughs> today sounds like he got a f***ing frontal lobotomy. My right. wife's like, if he's 43, why didn't they put him in psych for 72 hours and, and check him out? I mean, this could come out and, you know, go berserk out. Like, who knows? Who knows what any story is? What, what were the other guys doing while that was happening? They took off. They ran. Oh, yeah. It's crazy. So what What was the, uh, I mean, what in the fuck happened to you when you got brought in? Yeah, the other guys that were with him, they disappeared. And I think I know who that guy was in the last I was singing about his voice. You never guess who that was. Oh, here you go. I, I have no idea who. Actually, I do. I think Willis, William Did you catch it? Did you yeah. catch it? Yeah. William. I'm, I'm surprised he picked up on that. <laughs> William, were you in Ohio <laughs> yesterday? <laughs> Maybe. Okay. <laughs> he said that. I'm like, I'll tell you what, this kid could have taken a fucking dart and a giant atlas, and he couldn't have come farther away. Jesus God, he's fucking dumb. As he is he is the dumbest creature on earth. I've said it to him multiple times, and I truly believe it. He, he just the way that his mind, like I could tell by the voice, that guy sounded nothing like you. Nothing. No, he really he really didn't. No, I mean your voice is really distinctive, and and that guy did not sound like you. I'm sorry. <laughs> you think that was William Glory Hole? Judging by the voice, it, it sounded very very similar. Dude. Well, I got the guy's real name though, so I don't know if that helps anything. Well, I can tell you this. I mean, there's there's some you know there's some you know pieces of video floating around and stuff like that. I I can tell I you, I yeah, I can tell you that I that, that I know William Borio wasn't there because the guys called in. I mean, he's in Boston and they they called in from. Say the name of the MCG one of his guys. What? I don't really know, to be honest. Did I, did I say that? I just said it yeah. wasn't William Glory Hold. You see how he just, he's going to mold this piece of clay into his story? Yeah. Like an idiot. Honest with you, I mean, I, I, I don't even want, I, what I don't want to do is I don't want to take any guesses and not be accurate, you know what I mean? And then, yeah. you know what I mean? And, and then get it, well, you know, bullshit. For, he's he's terrified of you. He's thinking so. the boogie man behind the boogie man. Probably a good thing. At least that's something we know off of. So what happened when they um they they wouldn't listen to your side of this? Would they listen to your side of the story, or what'd you try to say to them once you got hooked up? Um, listen, uh, I'm here, so I would be so aggressive again, Yeah, just just do that. I'm just trying to get you straight and away. That's what, you know. All right. No worries. That's what right. Sally is rolling up. Right. So there's actually a question in chat about his charges, which I wanted to ask you, William, because. When I looked, I got simple assault with a, yeah. but, but mine was from the police department. But he's he said that he got assault with um, whatever whatever he was saying there. He got like assault with the intent to whatever. What what did you look up? What did you get? I, I trust yeah, you. I got simple well, assault. Both the jail paperwork and the police paperwork all say simple assault. Okay. I don't know. Maybe maybe they're gonna um change it when he goes in for next Monday because they they read the uh, the notes or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> maybe. You know, I I don't think he gets it that assault has nothing to do with actually connecting with somebody. I mean, if you have a bat and you're swinging at him, then and, and there's no reason to be. That's actually assault in itself. But there's obviously different levels of it. So, right. I don't know. What did you think of that? Was that any good? I mean, it's all good. It's good. just so up in the head it really is just it, it doesn't it, after listening to it this long doesn't every 
every excuse, every story. Doesn't it seem like you've heard this ten times before? Oh yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I'm waiting for the uh, when the body cam comes out. Glory Hole edited my crying. I wasn't crying. The next day, on June 27th, Cyrus would complain about people taking advantage of his arrest for views. This is what these people do. These people take, and they do this. They use me for views. These people open all your lives and mock me. On social media, this is why they do what they do. To poke fun at me, to laugh at me, and to dehumanize me. All for money, clicks, and views. In the very early morning of the 28th, Marty would go live with a stream called Can I Goes Live Plez YouTube? If so, Cyrax be in jail and shit. On this stream, Marty would talk about the arrest. Uh, so I guess Cyrax went to jail or something, right? Like, that's cool. <laughs> no, I, I will say uh, that, like, that's the one thing that may, would make Cyrax remotely interesting. Um, but even then, like, I don't know, you know, this, this might be unpopular. People are going to say like, Marty, you're just jealous. You're just jealous of this sovereign citizen. Look, man, look, so let's, let me find this. Cyrus arrested. Uh, this, so if there's a fight, Cyrax won. Nope. Let's, let's evaluate the fight. Cyrax arrested. Okay. This guy. Got beaten senseless <laughs> by Cyrax. It got so bad that he had to call the police. Okay, yeah. these are just the facts here. These are just the facts. And and yeah, I'm jealous of a guy. Like, why would I be Admiral Law? Yeah, he got on the vessel. He got on the vessel. He got on the vessel. GG. <laughs> he got on the vessel. No, Cyrax is on the vessel. I'm like. You know what? Like sovereigns, they're cool. People, people, people who who call the police after they get beaten up are really cool. Marty talked about how this time it actually did look like a gang of goons were outside of his house. And who are all these people? Who, you know, like Sark's always talked about. You, you roll up with your gang of goons. Like he, this actually. It seems like there's actually a gang of goons here. I'm sorry. Like, you know, people can say whatever they, they want to, but I'm just observing. And you know what? Like, I always tell you how I feel. And, like, this is just how I feel. Like, it, it, it's the truth. <laughs> it's what happened. What happened? Well, imagine, imagine being hated this badly by your whole town, though. Like, I've like drawn some iron wherever I lived, in, like a building, but not like a whole. Town. But since we already saw the fight, and Marty didn't cover Cyrax after that, we're gonna skip the rest of the stream. Later that day, Cyrus would do a stream called Speaking Out on the False Accusations Always Being Taken Against Me. Cyrax started out denying the accusations that he was a PDF file and actually had some of the worst audio that I've ever seen him using. I'm not a file. I'm not. I've never been convicted. I don't have a record of it. I'm not a me being set up by Nashville Mafia does not make me a file. She did what she did unlawfully. Okay, that's the first thing. And second off, when I talked to that person that I pretended to be 14, they hit me up about music advice. 
nothing sexual was ever said or even implied. So therefore, all this talk about me being a file needs to stop. I know what you guys are trying to do. You're trying to turn into the next Chris Chan, and it's not going to work. It will not work. Cyrax, surprisingly, even said the truth, though, about people finding him funny whenever he rages. Because all you guys want to do is get money and views off me because you find it funny. You find me raging out to be funny, and that's where you make your money. Well, I'm here to tell you right now that shit needs to stop, dude. Cyrax then said that things have been taken too far and in a surprising announcement said that he's moving before going on another tirade. You guys are constantly putting me and my family in danger and it needs to stop. You guys have gone way too far. Way too far. Cracking jokes on the internet talking. Okay, fine, whatever. Talk your sh But don't ever drag it into real life, dude. Don't ever drag it into real life. Because when you do that, you put people in danger. Just like you guys put my family in danger. And me in danger. Multiple times. You guys need to stop. This has gone too far, man. Too far. And it needs to stop. That's why after this whole thing ends, I'm done. After this whole thing ends, I'm moving. Because I'm not going to put my family in danger. I'm not going to allow my family to be in danger. Because of you guys wanting to do what you do. You guys need to back the f*** off and you need to stop. You guys seriously need to grow up and get a hobby. Do something outside of bullying people. Because you guys are bullying people and it's wrong. And it needs to f stop. I am not a monster. I am not a f file. All this garbage that is being thrown around YouTube is just that. It's garbage. The next day, on June 28th, likely early in the morning, Cyrus would post one more video on his KOA Productions channel. Cyrax started telling us about why he's not making any money, and then tell us about all the money that he used to make. Everybody here on YouTube and all of social media wants to know why I'm not making real money like I should be making. I'll tell you why. Because of you stupid ass trolls that are lazy as that want to make a quick buck. That's why. And you use other people to do it. You guys are lazy. You have no drive. You don't want to do proper business. The business you do do is shady and stupid as and it's not honest hard work. While I'm out here working my ass off trying to get that money, trying to make a living for my mother family, what are you guys doing? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's all you're doing. I don't give a f if these videos make me look like sh These videos where I talk like this and I call you on the up, I don't care if I look like sh I don't care. You can try to use it against me all you want, but at the end of the day, you guys know you're lazy as And you use other weaker people to do it. And that's f***ed up. You use weaker people to get what you want. And that's why I'm out here working my goddamn ass off, trying to make ends meet for my family, trying to get my businesses back up and running that you don't have taken away from me. While I'm out here hustling and doing that, what are you doing? Sitting on your ass on a fucking daisy up your goddamn ass, twiddling your thumbs, worrying about how you're gonna the next victim. You guys are a bunch of losers. Every one of you that sits there and does that, you're a loser. 
Let me tell you something. Back in the day, before you don't ever came into my life, any of you don't ever came into my life, Marty, Glory, or any of you guys, before any of you ever came into my life, you know what I was doing? I was running a multi-million dollar clothing brand. Selling all over the world. Doing good for myself. But you know what happened? You don't happen. I was doing good. Then, Cyrax told us a story about him working for a site that most likely, aka I'm 99% sure, didn't exist, and tells the trolls just how weak they are. I was literally one of the top sellers on a site called RayJohn.com. I was one of the top sellers. I was making over 150 grand a month. You guys got in my way from making sales. Now, the only reason why that site got shut down is because somebody decided to break into it and sell something that wasn't actually their brand. They had stolen like some big famous brand that caught on to it and the whole site got, you know, shut down and revamped to where nobody can make a store on there anymore. I was one of the top sales people on there. I was one of the top clothing brand creators out there. And you know what kept me from keeping that shit going? And from starting shit back up? You guys. Why? Because I had to hand all the money over to my family to be able to pay bills for a few months. I had everything set. I had a life. But what did you mother trolls do. You came in and you ruined it. For what? Money, clicks, and views. The content you guys create is garbage. All you do is sit online all day and you terrorize the week. And these people that you terrorize, they're not weak. You guys that do the terrorizing, you're weak for doing that. Take notes, because Cyrax gives some life tips, and tells us how smart he is. You sit there, and unlawfully, set someone up to be a f file, and then their life then gets ruined. Why? Because you're f lazy, and you can't stand to see that person succeed. So what do you do? You run your f mouth. And you talk all this sh well, let me tell you something that I've learned coming up in business my whole life. My whole life was spent around hard work. When I was a kid, I didn't just have shit to me. I had to work my ass off for it. Everything I have right now, I have worked my ass off for it. Except for a few things that friends gifted me out of respect for me hustling and grinding. But outside of that, everything I've gotten is done by me. Why? Because I'm smarter than you motherfuckers. I'm actually smart. And you know the one thing that gets me, huh? That's how you all can sit there and say you want somebody to change, but you don't want to leave somebody alone long enough to change. And then when they do start to change, you pull them back into where they used to be. That's stupid. Y'all dry ass souls need to get out of your asses and stop having this bullshit hive mentality. Because that hive mentality ain't gonna get you nowhere. That hive mentality is gonna leave you in the same spot you were 15 years ago. Broke, lazy, and not going nowhere. Me, I'm out here hustling and grinding every day. Every day, I'm hustling and grinding. You can ask my friends. Every time they call me up, yo, what are you doing, man? What's up? Working on me? What are you doing? Not much. Hey, dude, what's going on? What are you up to? Working on a brand new game. 
Oh, hey man, what's going on? What are you up to? Working on a brand new clothing idea. I was always doing it. I was always hustling, always grinding. While you guys are sitting there on your asses all day, doing meh, 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 meh. I'm out here busting my ass. While you told us sitting there on the internet, going, ooh, what's with this guy? I'm out here working hard, motherfucker. Yeah, I might not have direct true internet, but guess what? That still ain't stopping me. Come on, man. Fine. Hook up through VPN. Boom. Dark. Time to get back to work. Doing Van Off Twitch? Fine. Head over to Kit. Get going over there. Report on Facebook for real fake. Alright, cool. Made a new one. Boom. Done. Report my YouTube channel. Okay, boom. Make a new one. Got a whole bunch of others on backup. Let's fucking go. I'm always on the fucking grind. Always hustling. Always working my ass off. You dumbass trolls that sit here and terrorize people need to fuck off. Because all you guys do is terrorize and attack and bully. That's all you do. Because you're lazy as f and you can't stand yourself. Cyrax then gives advice that he should follow himself before talking about why people respect him and ended the video. You gotta say you work, right? No, you don't. None of you motherfuckers work. Half of you sit in your mommy's basement, chugging on Mountain Dew and watching dumb old ass videos of me all day, trying to think of how you can f me in that. You wanna know how I know you don't f work? Cause if you're working, you ain't got the time to be f***ing around on the internet and bullying people, dude. If you're truly out here hustling and grinding and working like y'all say you're doing, you wouldn't have f***ing time to f*** people. That's how I know none of you motherfuckers work. That's how I know none of you f***ing work. You'd rather make a quick buck off of somebody's humiliation and anger and stress and then being attacked, rather than sitting there doing something good for yourself. There's a reason why I'm respected by a lot of people. It's because unlike you guys, I'm not fake. I'm not lazy. I believe in good old fashioned hard work. Now, if you're one of the ones watching this that does appreciate what I do and enjoys my content, I appreciate the f*** out of you. I really do. But if you're one of these other dumb motherfuckers out here that troll people, f*** you. You're the laziest f*** and you don't do sh**. Now, if you guys would like to see me make real f Money and show you motherfuckers how to do it right. Sit down, shut the fuck up, and buckle up, cupcake. Because guess what? You're in for a fucking ride. Because I can show you guys how to make real fucking money like I used to, and create the content that I create, and do what I do. I told you, man. You follow my fucking steps, and you do what I do. You follow the formula of what I'm doing, I can promise you, within a month to two months, you'll have over 100,000 subs easily. Maybe a little bit less, but you'll be right up there in that bracket like I've been in. So hard, so you little f***ing hard asses. Sit down and shut up. Cyrax would then upload one last video to his KOA Productions channel called All Need to Leave and My Family Alone, where he told us he doesn't need a manager, counseling, or anger management. I'm tired of everybody sitting here saying like, oh, you need a manager. Let me tell you something. I don't need a f***ing manager. 
I don't need counseling. I don't need anger management. What I need is for motherfuckers to leave me the hell alone and let me do my shit without being attacked. That's what I fucking need. Maybe if you don't trolls would leave me the hell alone. You might actually see what the f I'm actually capable of. Like this sh is stupid, dude. Yeah, all you guys do is sit on the internet and f with people. That's all you do. Sit on your asses and f with people. Cyrax somehow justified in his head that he's not going to court on July 3rd because of his own actions, but instead because of the trolls. What I need to do is my job as a content creator and create my sh It's because of you trolls that I'm going to court on Monday. Not because of me, because of you guys. Because all you guys want to do is people's lives up like it's some sort of joke. And it's not funny, dude. It's fucking stupid. That dude had no business fucking being here doing what he was doing to me and my family. I'll say that right now. That fucking dumbass with his fucking head wrapped up had no business fucking being here harassing my family. It's one thing to protest something, but when you're doing it to slander somebody's name, no. You don't have business doing that. And that's exactly what he was doing, was slandering my name. And defaming me. But I'm seriously tired of people sitting there saying, oh, you need a manager, you need this. Man, no, no I don't, man. I don't need a fucking manager. Like I said, what I need is for people to leave me the f*** alone and let me do my shit without being bothered. And if you don't like my content, cool, fine. If you like my content, good. If you don't like it, not my problem. Cyrax then went on to say the trolls were putting him and his family's lives in danger, and somehow what he did was right. But all this bullshit and this trolling it needs to f stop. You guys are seriously putting lives in fucking danger. The other day when y'all showed up here to f with me and my family, you put my life and my family's lives in fucking jeopardy. And I did what I had to do to protect my family. And I hold no regrets. I did what I had to do to protect my family. Because there were six people in total. You had him and then five of my other neighbors walking down the street, getting in my face and my family's faces. I had every right to do what I fucking did. When you put my life in danger, I don't give a fuck if I'm in public or on property. I'm going to do whatever it takes to protect my f***ing family. Because my family is all I've got, really. Outside of my close friends, and those that I f***ing grew up with, and those that I'm stupidly close with, my family is all i got. I ain't got nothing else. So y'all trolls need to stop putting people's lives in f***ing danger. Because by y'all doing shit like this, eventually someone's going to get f***ing hurt. Or worse, someone's going to end up dead. And guess whose hands that blood is going to be on? Yours. After that, Cyrex lies and gives out threats in a rather boring way, so I'm going to cut that video now. On June 30th, at the end of the day, Marty would do a stream called Greatest Cyrax Body Cam Ever, where he talked about the recently released body footage and how out of the loop the cop was because he believed that Cyrax was getting people to come and take his things. It is, but it isn't, you know? This fence, there's, there's not much we can do about this. I've already called my insurance. 
Okay. <laughs> you can't just allow it. I have a five hundred dollar deductible, so. <laughs> but why? Why would I get another fence for the for somebody to come to try to steal that one down too? Well, it, that's the thing. I don't even think it's. You know, they're, they're not stealing. Yeah, I'm, uh, yeah. Well, it is stealing. They're coming on my property. No, it's because of chance. I know, but they're still coming on my property. But chance is allowing it. <laughs> So, like, when Chance tries to defend his property, what happens? The Akron police come in and arrest him. Like, what the f***, dude? What do, you, what do you want from the guy, you know? No, it's because of Chance. I know, but they're still coming on my property. But Chance is allowing it. <laughs> did you yeah. ask Chance if he did this? He, he, he started coming up some con concoct story, but he goes, no. But it's Chance. He's <laughs> allowing <laughs> No, like, when he finds out, he's pissed. But he finds out he's totally pissed. He, like he, he he yells at the cops too. Like these people are doing this. He got you. No, you're doing it. <laughs> you're 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 inviting them over here. But it's stealing. They're coming on my property. No, it's because of chance. I know, but they're still coming on my property. But chance is allowing it. <laughs> That's not true. That's so not true. You know, they're, they're not stealing. I'm, it's not the truth. Well, it is stealing. They're coming on my property. No, it's because of chance. I know, but. They're still coming on my property. But Chance is allowing it. Did, did you ask Chance if he did this? He he, he started coming up some con yeah. concoct story, but he goes, no, when I'm talking to mom, she goes, like, we're being scammed. And I go, are you sure, Chance? Because uh, she locked Chance in, in the house when I was talking to her in the back. Um, I go, are you sure Chance didn't arrange something with somebody on Craigslist? She goes, no. And Chance says, no, that's not how it happened. Yeah, that video of the Bells were talking so about. He, he concocted something with somebody on the internet. <laughs> no, no, no. Dude, that's not. <clears throat> this cop is telling. And he watches this stuff too. He's telling the landlord, Chance is cooking up schemes to, to have people come by and steal his grandmother's fence. But that's not. He, know, he knows that's not the truth. He's telling him anyways. Later on that stream, roughly two hours later from the last clip, Marty would talk about his interest in Cyrax was feigning. Well, so to a um, person in the chat, uh, like, hmm? it's alleged view, like, I don't, I, I like, I personally, I believe that Cyrax, like, I, I'm so imprinted in, in Cyrax's minds and thoughts that that's not going to happen. And, like, you know, in truth, I'm not even that interested in him at, at the moment, I got to say. You know, like, I, I'm curious to see how this court thing develops, but, like, I don't know, man. I've, I've been doing it for arguably too long. Looks like it's rap shit. We have our ebbs and flows, and right now my interest in him is, is on the uh, flow side. Finally, I know the next thing I'm about to say is on July 1st, and not June 30th, like I said in the title. But Cyrix saw the police body cam footage and had this to say. This is exactly why I no longer trust Akron PG officers. They lied to our landlady about these trolls tearing down our fence and blamed me for it. So fair warning, Akron PD is not to be trusted. And surprisingly, that's it for this one. Cyrix's court case for July 3rd was pushed back to later in the month when he went there and what I would give to see the upcoming trial. Cyrax is well on his way, not to irrelevancy, but to incarceration. There's absolutely no lesson to be learned from this story, and at the rate we're going, I'd say that the Cyrax in prison party is going to happen sometime before 2024. But what do I know? My predictions have seemed to be wildly off so far this year. I know that this one is shorter than my last couple, but I swear that just shows how much was going in the last ones. I got nearly 17 gigabytes of clips for this video, and I thought, is that it once I reach the end? That's about as much usable storage as my Xbox 360 had when I was a kid. But that's enough about me. I gotta get back to the next Ralph video. As always, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you soon.